I asked if it was okay for me to play uh, some five aside and, and train with them, and that was no problem. So hopefully I can do it in the future as well. Um, good group of guys, and it's it's fun. It's it's challenging for me, and hopefully I get to challenge them a little bit as well. Both my American and my Norwegian grandparents live up in Scottsdale, so it's an easy commute one hour. Um, at a very early age of their life, they uh, become kind of professional. When you when you move out here and and you adapt to this kind of life, um, it's a commitment, and uh, they should be should be proud of uh, getting to where they are. And then it's just keep on moving, and it's going to be some tough days and some good days. Um, but if you're going to be a pro soccer player, you have to go through all that. So everything is laid out for them to become the best they can be. So now it's up to these talented young men. Playing in the MLS is, is new for me, and um, it's been it's been fun and also challenging. A whole uh, season that's been a little bit difficult for the team, um, but it's good times ahead. Uh, we're looking forward, and I think uh, we're a great group of uh, a lot of talent on the team. So hopefully, it's going to be a better next season. And also these kids, um, maybe we can snatch some of them. Throughout the next couple of months, I want to get back here. Um, they're fun. I want to, you know, uh, teach them if I can. I've I've been through, you know, some ups and downs in my career, so it's it's about passing knowledge, and my goal is to um, make soccer as known as possible in the States as well. It's, it's pretty big around the world, and I mean, it's up and coming here in the States as well now, so um, for me, it's the, the better quality players we can produce, uh, the better it is for me, the better it is for the United States national team as well, so. Yeah, I just want to thank the whole uh, the whole academy for having me, and can't wait to come back.